Yeah, you know, on my mind this morning, and there's many, there's, you know, nationally there's thousands, locally there's hundreds to thousands, but um, on my mind this morning, a uh, kid I grew up with, a few years older than me, it was my brother's age, uh, moved on to become a podiatrist, uh, living in the suburbs, working, driving long distance to his office, and in the course of that, you know, with less time to exercise, more time sitting on the rear end and eating food on the go because of the drive and the work and the pace and the hospitals and the operations. He ballooned up to about 300 pounds at age 56. And uh, we kind of recontacted each other due to the miracle of social media. And he kept reading my posts because that's usually what I post on. New data, case studies, my own experience with plant-based nutrition and changing your diet and the benefits. Long story short, he made a fateful decision, I think it's uh, 31 months, 32 months ago now, to uh, pick January 1 and become, actually it's three years in one month, become completely plant-based. He started out with simple goals, oatmeal in the morning, you know, taking lunch to work, having simple meals at home, got some cookbooks. And the long story short, he's over 100 pounds down. He's never talked to a doctor about this formally. He's never been to a weight loss clinic. He didn't have bariatric surgery. He just learned that if he had a different shopping list, a few simple recipes for each meal, uh, prepare on Sunday for four or five days of brown rice and potatoes and um, some soups and some salads that have some longevity. And the miracle is, and it really is a miracle, I mean, uh, because a podiatrist isn't going to get any more nutrition training than a cardiologist. This was just all new to him. You know, he's off the medications. He's off the mask for sleep apnea, because when you lose over 100 pounds, you're probably going to stop snoring like you used to snore. I mean, his joints don't hurt anymore. He has joy in his life. In fact, now he writes a blog every month on social media uh, called Reluctantly Vegan, because he was reluctant. Uh, and it's a miracle, and he's actually started running now. He's won some medals at age 61 for 5K, uh, and he's working on his 10K distance, and it's like a whole new human being simply out of changing what he eats and making food a medicine and a healing property rather than for what is most of America, the biggest single source of disease, which is tragic because it just doesn't need to be.